There you go now. Ooh. So the doors are very heavy, and this one I have to pull kind of hard. Yes. There we go. Hmm. I had a sheets burrito at 12 midnight last night, and I'm thankful that this car will mask the smell that I will emit. <laughs> Do I need to pump it? Nope. All right. So we got a dog leg first gear, and it's already in one. Correct. So that's one, two, three, and then that's it. That's it. All right, let's see how this thing grabs. Does the steering wheel adjust at all? No. All right. It, it has a fastened seat belt thing that I guess just doesn't go off? Yeah. All right. Just for extra safety. Where is it gonna grab? Way high, very high, very high. I probably didn't even need that much gas. I probably could have just let it go. Yeah. I'm guessing this engine made 90 horsepower? On a good day, I would say about that. Mm. And maybe 130 foot-pounds of torque? I'm just guessing. Because it is... Oh wait, I... That's right. First is down. Second is way up there. Yep. Wow. <laughs> okay, I want to go out Adamsdale. Sure. Pulls to the right, really pulls to the right. Look at that. Yeah, I yeah. Got to adjust the brakes a bit. Definitely favors the right side. Whoop, yep. Grabby. Drums. All right, let's see how easy I can take it out. All right. Felt I might have needed more gas than just second up there whoop didn't need to rev it into second this is bizarre man it, it feels it feels kind of trucks am i revving high am i normally take third right here i would take third now third at 30. and now that's it that's it you so ride that to a top speed of what do you think 70. i'm not sure if i have high beams on or off uh, i hit it like a few times on the there's floor there's a little blue light that should go on way down there yep I can't really see it. Oh, the headlights are on, so that's why. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, high beams are on. High beams are now off. High beams on, high beams on. Okay. Whew. There is a lot of steering input. A lot. Like, we're circulating ball and then soft. <laughs> wow. Okay. Into neutral. Remember, it's dog leg first. Ease on the brakes, ease on the brakes, ease on the brakes, ease on the brakes, ease on the brakes. The uh, first, am I in first? Yep. Oh, that's right. Here we go. Clutch out, rumble, off we go. 20, second gear. Uh, shutters a bit, up into 30 for power, and then take third, and now it's that's it. There is definitely a feel. There's this. a feel. Is this the first gremlin you've owned? Yes, it is. Are you trying to ch tick every single box, all the AMC <laughs> cars? I do want a Pacer. Pacer is on my bucket so list. So do I. Pacers are on my bucket list. Uh, Pacer Wagon would be great. Um, I did own a Cop Nose Matador. I would love to find a Matador Wagon. Yeah which I almost bought one up your stranded, but it was rusted to death. Uh, uh, yeah, any ugly AMC car I'm trying to make a bucket list of that, which is almost all the AMC cars. I wanted, I want, it, you know, it's my sort of dream garage thing. Wait, let's see, third is down, so, yep. oh wait, I can still have third, even yeah. in 30. Oh, it's fine. Um, because of Wayne's World, to have a Mirthmobile. Yes. Have you seen any done up in that style? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, actually, I think I think the original one was on Pawn Stars. Oh. Uh, they sold the, the Wayne's World car was on Pawn Stars. Sorry. Uh, the Pacers had the two 
two different basic hood designs, the one that went up, like the Wainsbone one, and then a flat one. Okay. Uh, they're both ugly in their unique way. Yeah. So I'm not sure which one I like the least, which is <laughs> This is, in my opinion, the ugliest of the AMC, the Gremlin uh, body. Okay, I'm gonna take second here. Yeah. For this turn. Whoa, it revved high. And around we go. <laughs> yeah, you grabbed for it. It isn't there. Oh, I need it again. almost need to like rev match. There is such a huge space in between these gears. Oh, and I'm, can I, can I conserve speed through this corner? I don't know. Oh, oh. Yeah, you're good. When does it start lugging third? Around 25-ish. Okay. Third gear is very forgiving in this car because you can go high up to like 70 miles an hour, but you can also go fairly low. Oop, potholes. Do we have heat? Ish? Ish, yes. Where does it come out? Uh, it should come out from down here. Okay. Or the defrost. I'm at the point in the Falcon where my heater is the hose and it just sort of hangs down. So just point it where you want it. It has all zone climate control. I think whoever owned this before me did either took the thermostat out or put a different thermostat in because the my temp gauge does not move from C. Really? Rarely, like on a hot day, if I'm pulling a hill, yeah, it'll it'll move. But I don't think it gets hot enough for the heat to be very effective. Uh, well, that's good then that a car like this stays cool during the summer. Yeah, you can drive it all summer. Don't have to worry about anything. Exactly. I would never. The speedometer goes to 100. It's like, really? That's very optimistic. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I tried to find out before today if you could get the gremlins with the three on the column. Mm. I, I don't know the answer to that. You got some room here. Yeah. I had a, the, the Hornet I had with the three on the column. Okay, so I'm gonna go from, I just go over into first. Yep. No one coming. There it is. It's gonna take some time to learn how to do that smoothly. I am not gonna mess with the hills in Schuylkill Haven. Not in this. Man, I would really like a tack just to know what this engine is because I don't know where the end of the world is with the revs. is a good amount of concentration that goes into driving one of these things. Okay. Dog leg first. I feel like I'm learning to drive stick all over again. Yeah, with a, th with a dog leg first, three speed, it's, I can admit now, I've driven this thing so much that it's second nature. can just keep second. Yep, it's fine. The body lean in this is crazy. Yeah, it's nice. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've got to remember I have, I don't know how much weight is over that rear because there's no trunk. Right. So this thing, you, the guys who put LS's in it, all it's going to want to do is spin. Okay, that's, I'm still going too fast for first. Goesville. Oh, there I spun it. <laughs> uh, and I suppose cars like these are still affordable. I'm guessing like an okay one will be oh, yeah. five grand maybe? I paid four for this. Nice! Yeah, you could have an amazing driving experience, get looks everywhere you go, no one has another one no, yeah, in your town, one. Right. 
So what are you doing buying a WRX? <laughs> exactly. Buy one of these things. That's why, who's the, who's the guy who's in the car? Was it Nick? Nick. He, he said, what, what, you know, possessed you to buy a Gremlin? I said, well, when you go to a car show, you'll see a dozen 57 Chevy Bel Airs. Yeah. You'll see a, two dozen Corvettes of various types. Find me a Gremlin. Everybody's dad in their C5. Yeah, find me a Gremlin. Find me a Gremlin. Yeah. Find me at most, maybe a Javelin. You might see a Javelin. Yeah. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Yeah. And everybody looks at it. Yep, the whole family <laughs> just looks at us. What the hell is that thing? <laughs> oh, nope. carburetor must be cleaned out the thing does move yeah there's no stuttering or anything now third that is a satisfying gear shift it clicks in and out click, 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 the, click. there is uh, not too much play in third actually once you know where everything is that thing is satisfying AMC did their own engines uh, their own transmissions yep. AMC any engine tranny uh, my biggest critique of AMC of uh, the AMC's I've owned are, is like the fit and finish of the interior is rough. Yep. Like even yeah. where the steering column comes out. Comes out yeah, it, it's not straight. Yeah. Coming out of the hole, out of the trim. So you'd probably have to go back to like '60s AMC's when they, yeah, when they look better. The, the old Amer AMC Rambler Americans. Those you see. Yeah, People you'll like see them. them. You'll see the Rambler uh, early Ramblers. The, there's a guy in Pottsville has a really nice '60 convertible. Nice. Um, but as, as far as like people flock to this thing, <laughs> if I go to like the mall or I'm going to, you know, the store, when I come out, there's like six people like looking around, <laughs> remembering them fondly, yeah. but laughing at them. <laughs> yeah. Is that going to be us with Dodge Neons, like first gen Dodge Neons? <laughs> I think it's going to be us with uh, the first gen uh, caravans. Oh shit. Yeah. Those things. My parents had a second gen. I got room, so I'm going. Uh, had a second gen. Ooh. Whoop. Yep, second. Ha! <laughs> ah, spun it in second. Ooh, that thing's getting weird back there. How about third? This thing's a. <laughs> there we go. A uh, little bit of juddering from the. <laughs> Yeah, these tires aren't very wide. No, they're <laughs> not. Oh, uh, what is this? This mirror's got to be there. That is weird. Yep, he's looking at us. Everybody looks. He's looking at us. This car isn't safe. <laughs> like, the Falcon isn't safe, but it has wider tires. So you can get on it. This, you, this thing in the rain, man. I don't really feel any kind of heat. No, I put the defrost on, but it's not. No, nah, it's blowing cold. When's the end of the world in second? Right about now. Okay. So 40 miles an hour is a top in second. Well, at that point, you're not doing anything more. You're just revving the engine. Okay. To, to nowhere's land. Okay. Speed brakes on. You can down in a second. Down into second. Yep. Yep, reminds me of my Honda CM250. The engine is integral to the braking. <laughs> All right, yep, that's second because we're up there. And 
and we can keep it in second. It's not gonna, is it gonna? Nope, nope, oh, a little bit, uh, okay. Yeah, it really needs a four speed. Thank you, Kevin. Oh, my Thank pleasure. You. Thanks right, for absolutely. letting me drive this. This is a handful. Yeah. It, it is. is slow, but it's terrifyingly slow. <laughs> That's what we like in our gremlins. I wouldn't be afraid at 35 miles an hour. Oh, it, it steps out. Even in second, it's on the, these tiny tires. May I give it wah? By all means. Well, okay, it spins kind of. Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> kind of performance. Kind of. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, This thing is silly. Like, okay, sum up an AMC Pacer in one word. It's a silly car. It's a silly car. Let's go not go to Camelot. It's a very silly place. <laughs> it's a very silly place. Womp. <laughs> it bucks. It bucks, it spins, it stutters, it yells, and kind of goes somewhere. It does. <laughs> All right, so off, pull up, down. Oh, you went into the battery. Oh, there, there go. we go. Pull down, out, there you are. All right. And then first. Yep. Yeah, that's the one thing you have to, the, the, the shift is very light. There's no very resistance light. to this at all. I was gripping this thing. Mm -hmm. What I really need to know, it's just that. Yep, just it's a just, flick, eh, a flick. That's right. eh. That is really nice. That's a, one of the most surprising gear, gear throws I've ever experienced. Just that click, click, click. And even you're, when you're dry shifting it, it's not fighting. Yeah. I wonder if they repurposed some of their like SUV or truck or, or, or van transmissions and just put it in this. I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah. Parking brake? Uh, nah, I can leave it off. Leave All right. Or flat. Get your GoPro off. Yep. Oh, he's Nick's still 